Good morning. I write this sales tip seven minutes after a phone appointment with a realtor is supposed to begin. Apparently, business is so good that time is inconsequential. It's amazing how we make our jobs more difficult than they need to be. Getting around voicemail and overcoming the we already have a vendor objections provide all the sales challenges that we need, don't you think? Why add one more? Eight minutes. I remember hearing that the English are so precise about time that if you show up for a social engagement one minute early, you'll be greeted with the words, you're early. Likewise, should you arrive one minute late, you'll hear, you're late. That's overdoing it a bit, but the point is well made, beyond time. True story, years ago, I received a print order from the Office of the Jury Commissioner for the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. It had something to do with the jury selection process, I believe. My client was a real character. He faxed over the purchase order with the delivery date circled. As I stood at the telecopier, as it was called back then, the machine started up again and gave birth to a second piece of shiny, curly paper. He had faxed over a copy of a warrant for my arrest dated the day after the delivery was due. Believe me, that order was on time. What does it say to the customer when you are late for an appointment? When you get to the part where you're raving about your great customer service, don't you think the customer remembers that you were 10 minutes late, like the realtor is? Be it face-to-face -face or a phone call, one of your primary goals is to be on time. They might not notice it if you are, but they will certainly notice it if you aren't. Oh, and don't even get me started on the insurance agent that I called a week ago expressing interest in long-term health care. I receive an email acknowledgement, but nothing since. Honestly, what more do I need to do to give this woman my money?